Are you skinny fat? Let's fix that in today's video. Waste none of your time and jump right into it. So skinny fat quite simply is defined as someone who isn't fat, you're skinny, you have a small frame, maybe in a t-shirt and pants, not as many people would be able to tell, maybe just a little bit of a pouch. When you take off your shirt, you have no muscle, you have man boobs going on, you have the stomach going on, your arms are carrying unwanted fat, but you still have this frail physique. So you're kind of losing on both ends because you don't have that skinny kind of look and you also don't have that strength of being a little bit heavier. So you're in this tough spot. The great news is this isn't a bad spot to start at all. I have helped hundreds of people in this exact situation and to fix it is a lot easier than you think. So first off, if you're just doing cardio and throwing cardio at the problem, trying just to eat healthier, this is not going to fix your problems. If anything, it's going to make it worse because you're going to end up burning some calories, eating it all back and creating no compositional change. So if you want to look good, when you look at a good physique, you'll notice that the shoulders are curved, the chest is popping out. This is because there's a muscular base. If you have muscle and you're skinny, you look good, you look lean. If you have muscle and you're a little bit more on the heavier side, you're going to get more of that powerlifter build, that dad bod build, and it's still going to look better than skinny fat. And that is why you're here. So the first question, you have a few options, but is really approaching in the gym. You can solve most of these problems by getting in the gym, starting a weight training regimen, and actively pushing yourself to work against the skinny fat build. Because as you start to develop your body, whether you're male or female, you start to see more curvature and strength and composition, this will take away from that awkward look of that in-between. Now, it's really important when doing this, you're on a great routine, you're lifting heavy, you're maximizing your form, and if that's something you want help with, I have a free form guide down below with over 100 exercises, totally free, should be charging for this, but uh, I started on YouTube with form videos just like this, and I'm here to help. So you can go ahead, check that out, get that totally free, maximize that. Next, your biggest tip is gonna be diet. And this is where things get a little bit funky. You may be asking, I'm in this tough spot, should I be eating at maintenance? Should I be cutting? Should I be bulking? And this is where it greatly depends. So if you're on the really skinnier side and you find you're extraordinarily lean and it's like almost embarrassing, you have noodle arms, people are talking to you about it, this is where being a slight surplus, lifting heavy, it'll start to auto-correct that out. However, if you do find you hold a decent amount of fat, you have a bit of a frame to you, being skinnier is okay because as you take away this fat and put on a touch of muscle, just the same on the other side of the coin, you'll start to notice more amazing compositional change and you'll notice your physique starting to take shape. And this is where it can be a great feeling. So it's really important if you identify what side of the spectrum you're on. If you're on this side of the spectrum right here, I would definitely recommend being at, um, at your maintenance or a slight caloric surplus. And essentially what that's gonna mean is you're gonna track your calories and make sure you're eating in a little bit of excess where you're seeing your weight start to go up ever so slightly as you begin to train. If you're on this side of the spectrum, I would definitely recommend starting a cut and looking to lose some fat. And now you may say, hey, that's easier said than done. Josh, that's why I'm doing all this cardio. How can I do that? So I could get really in the weeds about how to lose fat, but ultimately the way you're gonna lose fat is be by being in a deficit. So as we talked about a surplus here, being on in a deficit is the other side of the coin. And you're not gonna achieve this with cardio because you're just gonna burn a metric of calories. Even if you do rigorous cardio and you're burning, let's say 600 to 1,000 calories, it's gonna be hard to put yourself in that deficit if your diet is still trash. It's all over the place. Perhaps you get hungry and you eat some of it back. You're gonna be more effective counting your calories, making sure you're eating at a consistent amount, a little bit below if you think of a scale of hungry, satisfied, full, being a little bit below that scale of satisfied because that's gonna put you in a deficit and help you lose fat. And also if you start pushing yourself more in the gym, you're gonna be able to take advantage of more new gains and actually put on more muscle. But as I said, this can get very complex, but the great news is, because I don't wanna make this an hour long video, I want this to be short, punchy, and effective for you to fix your problem. I also have a free fat loss guide down below. If you get the form guide or the fat loss guide, you'll actually get both of them. So all you gotta do is click that, you can get that totally free, and that's like a 15 plus page ebook on how to lose fat. We just wanted to give more resources to make this easy because this does not need to be hard. And this is actually a great place to start. As you can see here, here are three incredible transformations I've done as an online coach for people who are skinny fat. It doesn't need to be that complicated. So past this, some additional tips I just wanna fire off to you. Regulating some degree of activity is good. So think your 10K steps, maybe signing up for a sport, doing some form of dedicated cardio, but this isn't gonna be better than lifting and diet. Those are gonna be your big two. So focus on those. And then if you wanna dial into this as an external factor, that will help. 
And then the next biggest tip is protein. You wanna be aiming for about a gram of protein per body weight. You could get away with a little bit less, but I recommend covering your bases here, doing a clean sweep as we're trying to lose fat and gain muscle and really build a physique. And protein is gonna help with this significantly. So by making this a priority of your diet too, it's also gonna help you be more full, it's gonna give you more energy, and it's gonna smooth out those edges of where you're struggling. So if you do these three tips, I can guarantee you, you will break through these plateaus. Those free guides are gonna help you out a ton. This is literally what I do for a living. I've helped 4,000 people. I have a 98% success rate. It doesn't need to be complicated, but it's really important you focus in on what I said here. Ignore the nonsense, dial in on what's actually gonna make that change, and let's break the skinny fat together. So grab those free resources. If you wanna connect with me or learn more about my coaching, I also have my online coaching link down below. Lots of goodies. Any questions you have, pop them down below. I am here to support you. I wanna see you succeed. Thank you for tuning in today. Smash that like button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.